Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to do a djembe drumming solo. This will be an easy peasy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. That's right, I said that. This will be an easy peasy tutorial, so it'll, that means it'll be super duper easy peasy. It'll be super easy. Let's get right into the video. So essentially, when you're leading up into your djembe drumming solo, you're going to be playing along a basic beat. So most likely, you're going to just be playing along to a beat along with other instruments, just like this, you know? And when the time comes for you to solo it and you want to absolutely crush that solo, you're going to keep the same tempo. So if you have an imaginary metronome in your head, you're going to keep the same tempo. Okay, you're going to keep the same pace. But what you're going to do is you're going to speed up the, the, the notes. So essentially, if my metronome is going, doom, 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 right, I can keep that beat, but I can. I know I did, but essentially we're still keeping that same beat. So we're keeping that same metronome pace, but what we're doing is we're incorporating additional notes within each, each section, okay? And I will tell you this, when you're doing a djembe drumming solo, people love the rim shot. Obviously the, the bass slap sounds good, but the... Because you can go so much faster with those fingertips. People love that. So you want to incorporate that as much as possible. If you want to add some flair, you can even play along the sides because no matter where I hit along the rim, it's gonna give me the same type of sound as long as I hit it in the same way on the same angle. So what I can do is I can incorporate different flair factors um, with that djembe drumming solo. So what I'll do is I'll lead into one, I'll demonstrate one for you. We're gonna keep the same pace but I'm gonna add in a lot of flair. So let's keep the same pace. So we're gonna start off with just a basic beat. Let's get prepared here. I've been doing uh, gem beat videos for the last, I don't know, about half an hour or so. You've probably seen them come out over the last couple of days. So my, my thighs are really sore right now from holding the drum like this. But anyways, because I'm also sitting on one of my kids' play chairs over here, as you can see, it's literally one of my kids' you know, play chairs. So um, you know, anyways, we're gonna get to the solo so I can actually relax my legs. Okay, so let's get a basic lead in just like this. I'll slow it down. Okay? That's a little bit easier to follow along with. A little bit easier, a little bit easier to follow along with that type of pace. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring in the solo. You can lead into it a little bit, build it up a bit. on the other side of the screen. Maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure. Hopefully you enjoyed that. But basically that is essentially how to do a djembe drumming solo and easy tutorial to make it happen. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.